umpire goes quickly. Gilroy. Goss under pressure. Fires it to Gearin. He just goes with all her might up towards Ostudi. In front, Stone got good hands for initially. Oh, gear and sold some candy. And then Pope starts in the ruck. A bit of consternation about the ruck for the Blues. We'll ask half about that very beady. And now a loose ball. Oh, that's that's what we want today. Um, but we understand we've got another three quarters to go. Good luck for the second half. Thanks very much. Love the insight as Gear. Use the forward option on that occasion. Bursting across half back is Guerin. To all. We're looking for a late score. Or to be. Comes back to pound. The defender floating forward. Couldn't quite take the mark, Guerin. Still they go. Oh, singles been crunched in a tackle. You can't do that. So they're all pressing really high, the Carlton girls. Here we go. SEO, here's a chance. Throwing it on the boot to get themselves back in front. Maddie Gearan. Oh, not sure. A graph or a... Um... It's a goal. Oh. Blues back in front. That's huge. And they're able to see exactly what the ball does and where it is over lines, touching hands, whatever it might be. So that's... Now, there's some news coming out of the Sydney Swans. It'll bob up here. Chance for the Cats with Maloney. She couldn't control it. And now that Abby McKay, she puts it out in space. Who can pick it up under pressure? Friswell can't. And taking off and running with it is Tani Brown. Kick inside 50. The two number 18s go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Crockett Grills emerges with the footy and has put it straight. As Maddie Gear and Rolls on in, launches she it. Kicked the match winner last week and a long ball. And they just kept presenting chase down tackles and then that's what great finish. Always been a powerful kick, Mads. So not surprising, she might be aided a little. They're surging it forward, getting it inside 50s, often getting repeat inside 50s, which puts Geelong in with a numbers, even numbers game at the minute and they're winning. Moody, well played, stripping it clear. Gearin again inside, slips through the hands of Bowen. Maloney goes again, little flick under, setting off after it was Maloney, but she cannot catch. Again, mould in the ruck. Putting enormous pressure on these Geelong defenders behind the ball. Moody to Gearin, here they go again. Uh, contests. Moody, McKay, Gearin, oh, this miss up over the top. Came McDonald, Donald and McKay going toe to toe. We just featured them at Thurman out of it and opens the door for Hill to Gearin. Look at the distance these midfielders are covering. And her fellow small running mids, Mimi Hill, Gearin, brilliant. Picked off, Dempsey, so good. Oh, that delivery, front position on Levy. Oh, look at that from Gearin. One of the most informed players in the competition. Tigers with the numbers. Comes out to the side, Gearin. Here she is. Bangs it long. Can they get a mark here? Deep inside 50. Against the Gold Coast Suns two weeks ago. Okay, last week, but they need it tonight. Oh. Right on the arc, and Luke made Gearin earn that. Shevlin, Hicks. Oh, or Egan went the fend off and went high on Matty Gearin. Chance for Lynch. Pinballs around in there. Gear into to Robertson, the debutant, and now the Blues might be able to muster something at last. The kick will come corridor. Moody creates the contest. Super play from the Blue. Wearing 36. That's inspirational. That's a goal saving effort. They had from Hill. Mark for Celine Moody. Kicks their deepest forward, but there's at least four roos in front of her. Balance between come forward defence but not getting done out the back. Well, it wasn't that. It was more that the ball had gone inside there. Right, ever so slightly by Gat. Gearin. Wide option Fitzgerald. But a deeper one. The ball comes out, but North are usually just too crafty with their ball use, getting the uncont... By taking players off, you then spike the load of other players as well, which can be damaging to them. So it's something that has to be really quite... 
carefully managed. Mia King brought down by Gearin. Blues. Vesio! Fast start to this game for both sides. Disposal six for Hill. It was well weighted to Gearin, who's going to be paid the free kick. Much to the chagrin of the home fans. Scherer. Went quickly on the kick. And worked out okay for Gearin. Down as Foley finds O'Day. Kicks to a two on one. And in front, Gearin able to intercept. Went short. Kick towards a big pack of players. Control realised they're not going to have Carlton numbers. All Port Adelaide's numbers are behind. Needs to take a second. Use her muscles, fighting hard for it is Anthony. Found any flow to their ball movement. The major ball winners. Just floats across his gear in. Dawes was waving madly in the middle, but onto it. Taking a moment to compose herself. That's a bit better, Ben. That's what you're after. Here you go. That's what you want. Austin on the long lead. Goes by hand. Gearin will be under pressure. Got boot to ball. Vessio loves. The skipper's there. Rider at ground level. Under pressure. Good work by the Blues. To engage the body of Dunn. Couldn't quite take the mark. Fire it out to Gearin. Conway in the way. Gearin goes back and puts the tackle on. And Conway held up. It's got rid of it in the end. It had to get acrobatic. How about that while lying on her back? Peterson's leadership back there. They lead it by five, the Blues, and they'll get the first clearance through gear and hurriedly on the boot up towards the pressure, though. McCarthy couldn't reel it in. Hard ball to win through the middle. Robertson wrestling for it. Gear now puts the tackle on. And they've come away with the footy, the Blues. It's gear and getting plenty of instruction. Takes a long broadcast. So will the ball forward. So McKay hurriedly to Gearin. Brown over the top. It's a great sign, and their ability to move out of the back half as well has been really good in this early stage. Maddie Gearin emerges with the footy. Bombs up long. Moody launches from the side. Grant gone. So Gearin's back on's gone forward for the Blues. Although she's got it across half back here. Otlep. Off to Gearin. Watch her go. She's classy. They fly. Moody got a hand to it. McKee making her presence felt. It's caught against Meg Robertson. So six goals for the Dogs. This fires it out. Ortlip. Open side. Gearin. Straight down the centre. Of unlucky. Collingwood would have had that this year. Can missed the running slicer. Instead, the opposing 18 Gearin can take. Barnett figuring out a way to start off good and then get a fly now slicer share marks and pinpoints here and great games for the blues hill takes it and here marks vot around the body back to the pocket camped underneath it gear carlton's finn to the pocket carlton knocked off it out of the hands of Morgan. Morgan Carlton's position is, so she sends it long. Dyke tackled by Gearin. Got a hand pass out. Player that works to good positions if you're on Matty Prisparkas' team, wouldn't you? Because you. Alexander goes to half forward and uses it poorly. Gearin, but where do I go? She says. Takes a few metres and goes long, and that's a good kick. Dal 